Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us here on strivesports.com. We have visited Lincoln and Nebraska Wesleyan University for the Wesleyan University Holiday Tournament. We've got plenty of our Strive schools in it. In fact, four different Strive schools participating in the tournament that was originally scheduled to start on Monday and conclude today with all of the different placing games. And that was our original plan when we uh, got wind of this tournament uh, back earlier this fall. And uh, well, Mother Nature decided, you know, we, we don't really know what we're gonna dump on you. So uh, the forecasters were saying anywhere from, uh, you know, six to eight inches, a foot of snow, it might be a little bit. And it looks like Lincoln here maybe added a couple of inches uh, from what they got pre-Christmas. But uh, so the entire tournament moved back one day. And actually what that has done is caused us to have uh, the final day tomorrow consist of just the championship games. For, so for a lot of these schools and teams today, uh, you're playing your final game of the tournament uh, coming up here in just a little bit. Set to take the floor momentarily will be Takema Herman and Friend. We're going to cha change it over now to the PA address announcer and get ready for our lineups. Number two, 5'10 senior, Patrick Bossler. Number three, 5'10 sophomore, Colby Holden. Number 22, 6'3 junior, Tanner Smader. Number 25, six foot junior, Jay Lauber. And number 32, 6'5 senior, Nathan Durr. Head coach for the Bulldogs is Brian Hart. Now for the home team, the Cape of Urban Tigers. Number three, six foot senior, Derek Gaber. Number 11, six one senior, Russell Langlow. Number 13, five eight junior, Dustin Patel. Number 21, six two senior, Nick Bohannon. And number 41, 6'2 senior Bailey Fleshman. The Tigers are coached by Zach Rosenborn. So that's your lineups here today for the Wesleyan Holiday Tournament and uh, looking forward to some good stuff. We've got the National Anthem coming up next. So we are getting ready for Nebraska Wesleyan Holiday Tournament Basketball on strivesports.com. I'm Eric Allgood. We've got Taylor Siebert. We've got Ryan over on the camera. We've got the multi-camera set up up and working today. And we've got coverage of all of the games here in the tournament coming up on your, uh, your semifinal Wednesday, if you will. So again, to uh, recap the starting lineups for the home team in the white with the purple numbers you see on the floor, on the right of your screen right now, heading to the left basket, the Takema Herman Tigers, Derek Haber, Gus Langley, Dustin Pickell, Nick Bohannon, and Bailey Fleischman. And for the home red-teamed Bulldogs, a friend, it will be Colby Holden, Patrick Vossler, Jay Lover, uh, Tanner Smader, and Nathan Durr. It'll be friend with the ball first on their half of the court. Little zone defense for Takema Herman and trying to force an early turnover, but 
Smader pulls it down. Will drive in and kick out. Nice give and go right back down the lane in the basket up and good by Nathan Dare. So Durr makes it 2 0 early on here. Friend leading to Kama Herman. The Bulldogs now man to man defense. A drive and a basket no good by Haber. Derek Haber averaging 21 points a game. Trying to go coast to coast. Stripped, but there was a lover. He misses a basket, and that was uh, Gus Langley that pulled down the defensive rebound for Takema Herman. The Tigers in this consolation game after a loss yesterday to Bernie Davenport Shickley, 70 to 51. Haber has it right wing, pull up three, bounces and takes that soft rim and knocks it in. So again, this uh, Haber kid, an one, one that averages 21 points, about three steals and assist per game. Uh, solid scorer shooter for the Tigers. Three to two with an early lead. Good ball movement by the Bulldogs, and that is Laver with a pass get up and good. Uh, beautiful job against that 1-3-1 one, one zone to get it to the uh, kind of the backside high post and then down the lane for the basket. A little different set for Takema Herman. They try to get a little more dribble drive penetration. Handed off to Haber going baseline. He flings it back up. This is Fleischman down the lane. Had it partially blocked that time by Smeter. And here come the Bulldogs. Swinging up and around, that'll be Schmader for a three, and it's good. And the Bulldogs are hot from the field early on, leading seven to three here, two minutes gone by in the first period. Haber has it, top of the key for Takema Herman. Dribble drive, good spin move into the lane, but uh, too good of a spin, the traveling is the call. That is the first turnover of the game for either squad so far. That is a kick up top by Haber, and we'll stay with Friend. Little dribble driving again into the high post. That's been a good spot, and that time it was Colby Holden with the basket. The Friend Bulldogs, a 9-3 start to the game and a timeout for Takema Herman. It will be a 30-second timeout taken by the Tigers. We mentioned uh, Takema Herman yesterday and their loss to uh, Bruni Davenport Shickley, 70 to 51. Friend yesterday suffered a loss uh, to fall to two and six on the season against DC West, as uh, 75-46 was that final count. So BDS uh, and DCS will be playing later on this afternoon at 1:45. Uh, Friend and Takema Herman, like we said, of course, that's the game right now. Uh, both of those teams, though, of course, without playing for a championship tomorrow, this is their last game of the tournament. So uh, in that regard, it's a lot like many other holiday tournaments where usually you have four schools competing. Uh, this one's a little bit different, though, with eight, and uh, scheduled originally to have the full playout bracket. So you're going to play all the way for, for seventh place originally, but like we said, with the, uh, with the weather as it was earlier this week, uh, it got uh, the whole tournament got moved back one day. And then they decided that uh, it would be best on New Year's Eve to just play the championship game. So that is what they're doing. Nice dribble drive and a pass. Haber gets it down low on the block to Bailey Fleischman, and Fleischman fouled on the hoop, and he'll have a chance at a three-point play. Lover with a foul, his first, team's first, and Fleischman's free throw is up and good. Bailey averages three a game. He's got three so far. And it's 11 to, or uh, nine to six, I should say. Uh, Takema Herman trying to whittle their way back. And then they get a steal here, a turnover forced by the Tiger defense. Haber's got it top of the key. Away from the screen, hands it off to Langley. Back to Haber. Give him that baseline. Up with a shot. Good and a foul again. And another chance at a three-point play. Basket counts for Derek Haber. Foul on Tanner Schmader. 
Schmader with a foul, his first, team second. And like we said, Haber with that chance at the three-point play. Haber averages 21.3 points a game. Next best is on the team is Langley at 7.5. The free throw, though, is no good. And Schmader with the defensive rebound. So 9-8 to eight our score. Friend with the lead over to Kama Herman. Again, working are the Bulldogs against that zone. Seen some pretty good ball movement out of the Bulldogs to get them. And, whoop, that's out of bounds. Lover in the big old gym just lost track of where the feet were and ends up out of bounds for the second friend turnover. Bulldogs, though, still leading by one. Now a switch to a zone defense. Trying to make Takema Herman, who has been really good with their dribble drive penetration, maybe have to shoot over the top of it. High post and back out, that's Langley. Now Haber, he'll spot up, left open, and knock down a three again. That's his second three of the quarter. He's got eight already, eight of the 11 for Takema Herman, and they have the lead 11 to nine. Just past halfway here in this first period at the Nebraska Wesleyan Holiday Tournament. Nice pass down low and a strong finish up there by Nathan Durr. Nathan with four in the ball game and we're tied up at 11. Three and a half minutes to go, first period. Takema Herman on their season. Just one and seven and a traveling there. We'll give it back to the Bulldogs, a friend. Second turnover against Takema Herman. Trying to get it onto the wing. Lover gets it out of the trap. That's Colby Holden with it. He's in the trap, and he just got poked in the face there, I think. Just a little wake-up call. It's going to be the first foul against the Tigers. Langley, the guilty party, the six-foot senior. Holden, shot fake, pull up at 15. Nicely done by Colby Holden, the 5'10 sophomore. He's got four points, and we're tied up again at 11. Back to the man-to-man -man for defense for Friend. And an offensive rebound, little putback shot, no good by Fleischman, and the defensive rebound for Friend pulled down by Tanner Schmader. Lover has it on the wing. Back up top, Holden thought about the three, then thought better of it. Now back to the high post. Lover down the lane. His shot no good. Fleischman with a rebound. That's going to be a foul on Jay Lover. That will be Jay's second and the team's third. First sub of the game for either squad. Into the for Jason, Liao. Jason Liao. Into the ball game for the friend Bulldogs. Leading is friend, 13 to 11. A little over two minutes to go, first period. A little pass down to the block was tipped and then stolen. As Liao uh, came up with the uh, tipped ball and then has a foul drawn. And they're gonna call Bailey Fleischman for that foul for Takema Herman. We see Matt Gross check in for the first time. Matt's a 6'3 senior, playing in the middle. Hard to miss the big fella, number 43. Schmader has it on the wing for Friend, swinging up and around. Holden, nice pass down low. And oh, a little deflection, but still off the hand of Nathan Dare. And that will be the third turnover for the Friend Bulldogs. Mitch Hulse into the ball game now. He brings a little more size as well out there for the friend defense. Bulldogs leading by two, under two minutes to go, first period. Derek Haber down low, nice pass. The reverse layup, though, is no good by Matt Gross and a foul on the rebound. Nathan Dare did a nice job going up for that one. And they are going to call the foul on Gross. His first, team's third. Three team fouls apiece so far in this first period. Minute and a half to go in the opening stanza. Holden to the high post. 
Back out for Vossler. Now into the low block, nice feed and a good finish, good strong finish by Mitchell Hulse. Got it actually partially blocked on the way up uh, by Bailey Fleischman, but was still able to muscle his way through and get the shot up and in. So a four point friend lead, 15 to 11 here in the first period. Derek Haber driving, hanging, a little floater with the right hand, no good, rebound. Who's got it? Hot potato, still loose and we're gonna get a foul. Always tough on those scramble plays when no one really has the possession. No one really has a great beat on the ball. And you get bodies banging into each other, though. And someone is usually whistled for that foul. Colton Morrow Merrill checking in. And they're going to get Bailey Fleischman uh, for his second team's fourth foul on Takema Herman. Also in there for friend comes at Derek Segner, and that is a lost ball out of bounds. The fourth turnover against the Bulldogs. Leading by four is friend, 15 to 11 here, under a minute to go in the first period. Bulldogs in the man to man. Haber drives, swinging around to the left wing for Langley. Gus gets into the lane. He will put up the little eight-footer. It's no good. And a nice, strong defensive rebound by Darren Segner. A friend. Under 30 seconds to go, first period. Friend with a lead in the basketball. High post, Holden. Turns, tries to kick it out, then goes just back up top to Vossler. And the pass down the lane is off the head of a Bulldog. Mitchell Hulse couldn't get the pass, and that is out of bounds and a turnover. The fifth of the quarter for Friend. Langley will bring it up now for Takema Herman. Under 10 seconds to go, first period. Haber has it poked free and stolen. Colby Holden pokes it a free and then has his pass deflected and stolen back. And that three, in theory, would have counted at the buzzer, and so all the excitement. We've reached the end of the first quarter. It's friend 15 to Kama Herman 11. Back after this on strivesports.com. I love it. It's fun. It's a fun industry to be in. Meet lots of different people, do lots of different stuff. There's always something new happening, so. So far I've been enjoying it since I've been here. It's been great learning new stuff every day. I recommend anyone come in and work here because so far the working environment's friendly, everyone's kind, and also the new guys that come here, they will gain the confidence that they need just to come and work. I like how everybody around here is, you know, we all kind of become real good friends. It's like a second family here. It's not something you would come to just work for a month or two. It's something you'll want to stick with forever. and online ordering so you can skip the line. That's what you'll find at Dickie's Barbecue in York. Log on to dickies.com, select the York address, sign in or create a profile, and you'll be ordering delicious barbecue in just seconds. Choose from a variety of meats like brisket, pulled pork, chicken breast, or sausage. Add a homestyle side like waffle iron fries, fried onion tanglers, barbecue beans, and even fried okra. You won't go away hungry. Try Dickie's Barbecue today and log on to dickies.com. Kids eat free on Sundays. Welcome back to the Nebraska Wesleyan Holiday Tournament here in Lincoln. Thanks for joining us on strivesports.com. The friend Bulldogs have a four-point lead over Takema Herman in this consolation game, 15 to 11 at the end of the first period, and uh, trying to pick up where they left off, and that would be Colby Holden. He jumped uh, or knocked the uh, dribble of, of uh, Haber away at the end of the first period and then gets a deflection on that pass to start the second. This is Haber, baseline, gives it back out on the wing, gets it right back, fires up the three. That one is long, no good. He's already got two in the game, and the defensive rebound for Nathan Dare. He's been, Nathan has been strong in that post area, especially on the defensive rebounds. Holden with a baseline shot, it's no good. Offensive rebound, though, for Smader. Outside a three, that is no good by Dare. And the defensive rebound for Takema Herman. So the Tigers, outside of Derek Haber, who has eight, have just a three-point play by Bailey Fleischman. 
Nice drive there and an offensive rebound, but still no good on the attempts. And Schmader brings down the rebound for Friend. Nobody with any points so far in the first minute of the second period. High post, Holden back out for Vossler. Tries to get it on the block, and he does. And nice feed down low, but the shot no good that time by Nathan Dare. The Bulldogs have done a nice job getting those points just like that in the paint so far in this game, but came up empty there. Lover misses on the steal attempt, but still forces a turnover as uh, Dustin Pickell is called for a double dribble. Five turnovers apiece for each team so far in this ballgame. Segner back in for Friend and a foul in the lane. Colton Moro Merrill is the guilty party there. His first and the team's fifth. Five fouls on Takema Herman, three so far on Friend, whistled in the game. On the baseline, double team comes. That pass is out of bounds. And they are going to say that Laver was the last to touch it, so a turnover against the Bulldogs, their sixth of the game. <coughs> Four-point Friend lead. Again, this is where we started this period. Nobody scored in the first minute and a half of the period. Haber hands it off. Bohannon going right. Now on the baseline, a shot up, and the basket is good with a foul called. And that is Gus Langley with a chance at a three-point play. Basket good by Russell Langley. Foul is on Nathan Durr. Langley at the line. Nathan Durr with a foul, his first, team's fourth. And that free throw, though, by Langley, no good. Again, Gus is uh, second on the team, averaging seven and a half per game for the Tigers. Friend, scoreless in the first two minutes of this quarter. Has the basketball, though. Vossler, pass to the left. Now a dribble drive. Schmader down the lane. Tried to leave it underneath and was fouled on the way there. They're going to call it on Colton Morrow Merrill. He's got two quick ones and now six on the team. Colton checking out. And Matt Gross back into the game. For Takema Herman. Down the lane. Lover maybe stumbled just a bit as he tried to put that shot up. Didn't quite get his elevation going. And a quick defensive rebound for the Tigers. Both offenses had uh, some nice plays and some nice flow in that first quarter, but uh, so far just a two-point to nothing score for Takema Herman. Haber misses that three. Friend comes back the other way. Smader has it up top. Wants the drive. And Langley going to be called for a reach-in foul there. But I think they're actually going to call it uh, not on a shot. Uh, but that will be the seventh team foul, so it will be a one-and-one -one opportunity for Smader. So Tanner Schmader. As we see uh, Colby Holden check back in. Free throw with the front end of the one and one by Smader up and good. Back end, though, no good. The rebound tipped, kept alive, still alive. And then the long rebound on the run out coming out to Dustin Pickell. Down the lane and out of bounds, and that should be, it is, off of Takema Hermit. Langley had it knocked free and then had it go off his leg and out of bounds. So the friend Bulldogs, it's, uh, it's been a slow scoring three minutes so far in this second period. It's, it's two to one to Kama Herman in the quarter so far. But friend still with 
A three-point lead. This is a three by Smader in the corner. No good. And a foul on the rebound as Langley came away with that one. And I think they're going to get Nathan Durr. And uh, that is the second on Nathan, the fifth on Friend. So Durr checks out. And Jason Liao comes back in. Haber, or that is uh, Langley with a nice pass onto the block for Matt Gross, and he's fouled on the shot attempt. And now Tanner Smader has two fouls. So uh, Smader and Dare, who have done uh, a lot of the dirty work, I guess you might say, down in the post area for friends so far in this game, each with two fouls. The first of two free throws by Gross, though, rattles out no good. And the back end rattles in. So you're scoring in this quarter three to one in favor of Takema of in favor of Takema Herman, but they still trail. Now 18 to 14. As Jay Lover knocks down that jump shot, he's got four in the ball game. Got a rebound and then a foul on the Tigers. Pickell going to be the guilty party there. And it's going to be free throws for both teams the rest of the half. And it looks like Jason Liao will go to the foul line for the one and one for Friend. Bulldogs just one of two from the free throw line in the game so far. And now two of three. Liao makes both ends of the one and one. And the friend Bulldogs have their largest lead of the game up now by six, 20 to 14. A little pick and roll there. Laver gets a tip, but still control. Now a dribble drive, pull up on the left baseline. The shot was no good by Dustin Piquel. Here come the Bulldogs. Liao had it knocked free, got it back, and then traveled. Seventh turnover against the Bulldogs. And Langley, nice drive down the lane. He was getting to the rim one way or another, and Gus four points all in the quarter. And Takema Herman not going away, down just by four, 20 to 16. Holden, left elbow, hesitated, then put up the 15-footer. It's no good, but an offensive rebound. That one was by Segner, no good. Another opportunity, and Lover gets the basket and a foul. Chance at a three-point play for Jay Lover. The Bulldogs relentless on that offensive glass so far in the game. Matt Gross with the foul, his second. That is nine team fouls on Takema Herman. And Lover with the free throw, though no good. A rebound into the corner. Who is it off of? Off of Liao, they say. Bailey Fleischman checks in for the Tigers. Six-point friend lead. A little over three minutes to go here in the first half. Nebraska Wesleyan holiday tournament action on strivesports.com. Langley, another strong drive, but misses the shot badly that time in the defensive rebound for Michael Hulse. Friend into the front court. Liao, though, loses it. A steal for Piquel. Coast to coast, he stopped and traveled when he did it. One foot did not stay where it was supposed to. And so back to the other end we go. Sometimes you can get away with skidding one foot in that jump stop, but if, if both of them go, well, then they're, they're, those officials, they like that whistle on that scenario. So a turnover each way. Friend breaks the little half-court pressure. 
Gets it to Laver, then out. Now a three on the right wing for Segner. Then a high post rebound for Derek Haber. Haber had eight in the first quarter, but I don't know. He's taken much more than a shot or two here in the second quarter. Comes off a screen, though, and buries that three. He's got three of those in the game and 11 total points. Doesn't need a ton of separation and has shown nice elevation and uh, body control when he does get that shot. Nice pass down the lane. Holden, though, misses the shot from point blank range. Haber with a rebound. Here come the Tigers. Haber, coast to coast. A lot of contact, no foul, and the rebound is or a rebounder pass or, well, it was deflected. Let's put it that way. It's out of bound off of Friend. So the Tigers will retain the possession. They get Haber out on the right wing. Long three, that one no good. And Hulse with a defensive rebound for Friend. Bossler brings it up. Might have got away with a travel there. And a pass deflected by Takema Herman. Darren, or excuse me, uh, Nick Bohannon got a fingertip on that one to knock it out of bounds. Coming down the lane, oh, lost ball though. Bohannon comes up with a loose ball for Takema Herman. The ninth turnover for Friend in the ball game. They're minus three in that category. Langley flips it back to the high post. A little 15-footer is way off an air ball actually by Fleischman. Took some body contact there, but out of bounds to Friend. And the Bulldogs bring in Logan Pfeiffer into the ball game. Logan, a 6'1 sophomore, first time we've seen him. By the way, Takema Herman suiting just seven guys. See a couple of uh, injured Tigers across the way. So uh, just seven players available for today's action. Friend so far has gone uh, nine total. Now with Pfeiffer in the game. Three-point friend lead. Minute 15 to go, and out of bounds. Laver had that pass just a little bit high, was trying to uh, keep it in play, but could not. And that is the 10th Bulldog turnover. Five in each quarter so far in this game. Laver comes out, and Colby Holden comes back in there at the top. This is Langley with it. Right side of the key, goes away from the screen. Gets his way, nice move, a long step through the lane, but the rebound out of bounds is off of Takema Herman. Colton Morrow Merrill, number 23, was there, but could not secure the board for the Tigers. Under a minute to go here in the first half. 22-19 is our score. Friend with the lead and the basketball. Hulse has it in the corner, down the lane. Liao tries to leave it underneath. And I tell you, that's a nifty little move there by the sophomore, Logan Pfeiffer. Didn't, uh, didn't really continue his cut, but when the pass came, it was able to actually deflect it back off a Tiger. And so a uh, friend will keep the possession. Vossler into the corner. Liao will spot up the three and knock it down right in front of the bench of Takema Herman. Liao with five in the ball game. That's his first field goal, and it opens up a six-point lead again. Right back the other way, Haber with a three on the left side. That's no good. Holden with a defensive rebound. Leads the charge quickly. Gets it on the right wing. Now back up top for Vossler. Probably one shot here in the first quarter for the friend Bulldogs with 10 seconds left. Vossler in the lane. Gets it on the back side. Now we've got bodies in a jump ball situation which will stay with Friend with 3.7 left to go here in the first half. Hulse takes the inbounds, hands it right back. Vossler, he will put up the three at the buzzer, and it comes up shy and no good. So we've reached halftime. It is Friend 25 and Takema Herman 19 in the first game of the day of the Nebraska Wesleyan Holiday Tournament. We're going to take a we're going to we're going to take a quick break and what's going to happen folks is we're actually having uh, a little bit of internet troubles here in the in the stadium. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to shut our stream off here a little bit during the halftime break. So we would invite you here in about the next 10 minutes or so to hit refresh on your screen and uh, bring us back uh, in about 10 minutes or so. And we'll recap some halftime stats and get you ready for the second half coming up on strivesports.com. Yeah, I get it. For the little things. Technology's great. It makes things easier. It's faster. We can get things done wherever we go. And we get all that from our bank. It works for us. But for the bigger things, the things that really count, I still want to talk to the people I know and trust. That's why I'm here. Seedsmanship is what truly sets Channel Seed apart from other seed brands. It's our unmatched ability to provide you with the expert advice and customized service that helps you get the most yield out of your acres. It's the added value of year-round service combined with elite seed products that you only get from Channel Seed. At Channel, we know the importance of staying connected. As seed experts, we look to get the most out of your fields by putting ourselves in them throughout the season. That's seedsmanship at work. 